Hey everyone, welcome back for more Exos Years content. Today's video we're going to discuss the new director's notes that just dropped an hour ago. So this is for a Christmas event and new content. So we'll go through each and every one of this. This I think is a bit short. So to start off, um, I think this will drop a week or two weeks from now. I think this is just in time before Christmas. So to start off, we're going to have the new Path of Trials. So with the end of chapter 14, the story of Brun has been concluded. The bosses you have met in Brun will appear in the Path of Trials. So again, <clears throat> if you have not been playing your Path of Trials, um, I think they're going to make it easier. So they have prepared a total of 11 episodes in the new Path of Trials chapter 6. Challenge the boss who, be who became stronger to get tons of rewards. Okay, so... We will also have Christmas Fate Course. So Christmas has come to Exos Heroes to celebrate Christmas. Rachel and Bathory's Fate Core will be updated, who's disguised themselves as Rudolph and Santa. Hmm, Bathory Santa. Um, the good thing about this is we'll be getting Rachel as a reward of the Christmas celebration Leafy's gift for seven days. But for Bathory, you have to have a paid... Uh, paid user for you to get her because she will be available in the next updates cumul cumulated purchase event so i'm sorry guys for those who are free to play you could only get rachel for this one but for bathroom you can't so you have to purchase um zest for you to get her so next would be again quantum raid christmas so i am I haven't played um, Halloween Quantum Raid and I'll try to play this one. I assume um, the Quantum Raid for Christmas has been, you know, has been tweaked a bit because they're, they they have said that we have improved unsatisfying, unsatisfying factors in the Quantum Raid reflected in the user suggestions in the previous quantum raid because it was really boring so i hope this one is would be a bit enjoyable would be about a bit creative and i hope that this will be a big improvement versus the last one okay so for signature force so a new group so vagabond is already added or will be added up to the fourth enhancement of the first stage of vagabond signature will be unlocked so similar as the rest so i'm glad that i was able to get copies of um, of schmidt already so i only need one copy of him for for me to activate signature force um so because actually people are trying to also use vagabond in tag pvp because i'm also trying to level up um all three of the heroes in vagabond namely schmidt you have Sewa and you have Awakened Zeon. Okay, so we have also another one. So Knot of Creation. So Knot of Creation can be cre carried out by reopening the String of Creation Re. By collecting certain Knot of Creation points between Air Squadron members. So this is a bit interesting. So... String of Creation Re, okay, the banner that usually, you know, brings the past heroes so that we could uh, summon on them again. So, I assume that the Knot of Creation is to be accumulated so that we could open it. Um, equipped with a Fate Core is acquired through required except for String of Creation Re. The Acquired Creation Points, uh, Knot of Creation Points can be found in the Air Squadron menu. So, it, it, it involves um cooperation between air squadron members so take note for this to be done and as i've said before story in path of trial content mission difficulty modification so they will again lower the lower the difficulty of story in path of trials especially for path of trials because i think it's too difficult the story in path of trial content difficulty of the star acquisition special menu is revised down in the content so in the story content all existing no break conditions will be removed and the number of break conditions will be reduced 
In the Battle Trials content, the number of break conditions will be reduced as well as adjusting a few difficult special missions. So this would be very good to those um, beginners and free-to-play players who have just progressed in the game. And we have another Fate Course or Synergy 2. Another Pop... Sorry. Pop Pro ECT Group. I'm not sure if I'm reading this well. But anyway, they're, they're another K-pop group. So we're preparing for a new Time Walker and Idol concept of Fate Course since you all have been showing a lot of interest in them. So I'm not sure who this is. Um, I think this is April in the middle. I'm not sure who are the others. Probably Scarlet. I don't know but in, in addition to the black blue gold fate core can also be acquired through events with a new orange fate core so hmm, curious interested i'm i'm looking forward to this one other improvements so improvements on content progress speed so this particular this particular portion refers to your wog run fest and holy dragon grounds so they should should be able to speed this up and shorten this because we already have some features in the game in which you you can um, quick quick play this or quick play other content. So next one is improving on <coughs> hero rating and walkthrough board. So the hero rating and walkthrough board are made so that everyone can share up their opinions however we've decided that there are several comments that are making the rest of the users quite uncomfortable so from now on there will be a thumbs down add to the recommended function once the number of thumbs down in the com reaches a certain amount the comment will be visible will not be visible anymore in the board okay that's very good at least we have we have the option to to take down comments um in the in the walkthrough board because some of them are really just annoying, pretty much annoying, and and they're just spamming the the what do you call this, the the walkthrough board. So notification on wearable equipment, <coughs> world UI wearable equipment that that was only available in the early stages of the game will also be available in the later stages as well. Once there is a piece of equipment available for the story team in the bottom area of the world UI to wear the notification icon will be visible notification for consumption of a strengthened hero in order in order to use fate core fusion and signature force a hero and a fate core is needed however they may there may be results of unwanted situations since already strengthened heroes are also in the options of okay so they will be eliminating strengthened heroes as options to be consumed to prevent such Unfortunate situations from happening. If a if a strengthened hero is about to be used as a material, we have set an additional notification for you as a reminder. That's very good. At least you won't have the you know you won't be confused whether you should you know consume that that um, strengthened hero or not. That's good. Improvements on conversation conditions from story mode to path of trials. Even if you set the mode as path of trials and exit the game, it will automatically be converted to story mode once you log back in. This is also good because you should have a default on this one. If you, if you have cleared all of story mode, we have set path of trials mode notification so that you could continue your adventure. This is pretty much very good as well so that you won't have to switch modes um, time to time. Um, at at one at at one point you um a mode will have to switch so this is very good hero contents tag removal for our latest update the required content conditions needed to to enter special dungeon in the sanctum series okay so tag removals the contents tag were applied to the required heroes in a special dungeon have been deleted so um, heroes required this is this is pertaining to the heroes required to clear those special levels and those I think um, insane levels I'm not sure but but after maniac uh, I forgot the other one I think it's insane so let's move on so internal bond so I'm um, just just to shorten this one um, they are trying to announce that Shufrak and Endorka might be 
the next heroes for Eternal Bond. So it will begin in the middle of December. I'm sure that's after after we finish with the current one, which is Schmidt and and uh, and Jinai. So I hope the I really hope that the previous heroes will be rotated back. Like for example, uh, Jinai. Jinai Jinai is actually one of the heroes that that usually are being looked for by the community and the players. So new Christmas theme, a login screen will be changed as a Christmas theme. Okay. Anyway, just to recap on all of the director's notes. So I think this 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 patch is a bit okay. Not as good as the previous one, which which was very enormous, uh, a lot of changes. But this one con continues with um, more changes, more more improvement in how players are interacting with the game. So this will definitely improve the quality of life of players who are playing the game. Plus, as well, the new fate cores that they're planning to you know to to bring out i just hope that they would give more improvements to the the quantum raid for christmas because i don't really i didn't really like the previous one for halloween so anyway guys that's it for me um hope you enjoyed this um, review of the director's notes hope that this will also be a good patch that they drop out that they drop and i'm looking forward to additional you know additional goodies from from line games or from exos heroes in this christmas season so anyway guys you all stay safe this is the warden and i'm out